Hello and welcome to Scottish Van Building, where the weather's so crap that even in May we have to hide inside the van from the wind. Hello and welcome to our channel. We're Jojo and Scott. We live in the Highlands of Scotland. In August last year, we took on a big challenge. We bought a bright yellow van ready to turn into a camper. It's been a much bigger job than we expected from ripping out the filthy interior, scrubbing away at the grime, to finding some nasty surprises. It's been a hell of a ride, with loads of ups and downs. We'd love for you to join us on this journey, as we take a filthy ex-fleet vehicle, strip it back to the basics, and build up a tiny home on wheels. Thank you so much for watching. lovely day, it's the first day of May. A teacher in school once told me when I was about six or seven that on the first day of May you have to get outside early in the morning and take the dew off the grass and wipe it on your face and then you'll be beautiful all year. I've been trying to remember to do it but I was a bit late this morning, the grass is really really dry so if I suddenly become really weathered and old this year that'll be the reason. Now let's show you what we've been working on in the van. Stage one, yesterday. Making a wall to the cupboard so it's not just straight onto the vapour barrier. So we've cut some thin ply, we've had room for the, the electrical box there. Scott's been doing some more sticks to strengthen and make the cupboards a bit more box-like. Yeah, <laughs> chopping in the background. Oh. Are you breaking things? I heard a pop. <laughs> Yeah, Scott's just been, you know, every step he takes and everything he moves, he's just been punching holes in the vapour barrier, left, right and centre. Yeah, that's a whole And big every barrier. time he does it, he just has a big tantrum about it. So saddening. Yeah. Just, I don't mean it, I just exist and damage stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's going on. Um, this bit was tricky here at the end. Because the wall of the van curves, I think you can see it on this side, there's a big bump that comes in. We've kind of carpeted it there somewhat poorly so on this side we wanted the cupboards to kind of continue into this bit so we have an extra long compartment of the cupboard here we're using very very thin ply we've attached it to a piece of wood there and we've put some screws straight into the metal work there the other thing we had to contend with was the the wire the massive wire that comes from the, the back lights through to the front so you can see it burrowing under the carpet there and it comes down there and that's why it's pushed pushed the ply out a bit we've used some Sika Flex to glue them up here because we have nothing to attach it to and we're going to do a similar thing on the ceiling luckily we've got some wooden horizontal struts along here that we can attach the ply to Today Scott's just strengthened that bit, he's put a bit along there, and we've finished um, this cupboard, basically the skeleton of this cupboard. This guy here is still a bit wobbly, so we're going to put some more strengthening sticks there. And yeah, hopefully get some more ply on and just make it look a bit more like a cupboard rather than sticks. started work this morning like a little before nine the only thing I wanted to do was put some ply on these cupboards so that they were actually cupboards I just that's all I wanted to do today it's now if you can see the time <laughs> it's 
Now 7.30 p.m. Finally, finally putting ply on. You know, the cutting and sticking the ply in place doesn't take very long. But for some reason, every other job today has taken... <laughs> There's just little jobs in the way. Another day, another day working on the van. It's one of these hot, cold days today. It's simultaneously very warm, but also freezing cold. You'll know what I mean if you live in the north of Scotland. Probably anywhere in the UK in general. I'm going to show you what we've been up to. Here's what we've been up to. Oh, hey there. Look at you with your little ponytail today. I'm you ponytailed. Look, you look like a pineapple. That's me. Pineapple Scott. I'm attaching the underside of this cupboard. Because it's not a cupboard if it doesn't have a bottom. <laughs> Otherwise it's just a <laughs> stick to bash your head on. Yeah, it's good it's, at that. Yeah, it's definitely been a stick to bash your head on lately. Yeah, I so, mean, it's already got a roof and it's got a back. So yeah, it just really needs a bottom, a side and a front. We're not far from painting this really, and it's not going to be that many ply panels. Yeah. After after the ply panels that are just attached, it's really just doors. That sounds obvious, but you know. <laughs> it's like we got this bit attached last night, that's quite exciting. We finally got a shelf to rest things on in the van. We also got the back of the pantry attached. Oh yeah, that looks pretty awful on its own. Yeah, I think you might want to show them it from outside. Yeah. Or it's more going to meet up with this It's going to meet up with other walls, isn't it? Just, it's just a piece of ply just now. It's a three millimetre, so a really thin piece of ply that can bend to meet this strange shape. Yeah. So you couldn't but think of a better The idea way to do of it. it is to just stop, because when you look in the door now, you just see the back of the pantry, which is quite funny. So we're going to put a piece over there. What's stopping us finishing this bit is we still haven't actually painted the door. So that ply panel there. And if we put a back on the cooker, how do you even reach that to paint it? So we need to paint it first and we're just being lazy. That's it. Nope, no. <laughs> it's off. having a nice day, don't you be ruining it. Oh, there's two of them. There are two of them. Oh my goodness. Can't do it. This day just gets better and better. working really well as a shelf. Who would have thunk it? The shelf is a shelf. <laughs> working way better than it was before. As a stick. 
Yeah. And while Scott's busy outside working on the van, I've got a very important van building task to work on in the kitchen. Let me show you. So I lied, it's not really van building as such, but we have all the fruit that we gathered off the trees last winter. When we go traveling, it can't stay in the freezer. We need to turn that off. So I'm gonna make it all into jam. We have damsons. We have apple. We've been eating it over the winter, but this needs to be used up. So I've got my copper jam pan. I did burn the last batch. I'm not gonna lie. You need to be careful and stir the stuff. And I'm gonna defrost all that make it into jam and then we can take it with us. Jam. Oh, still quite frosty. We have too many, too much fruit for the pot, so I might have to do a double batch. I'm wondering, we'll definitely want some damsons in this. I started off pitting all the damsons before I put them in the freezer. And then what happened, I got halfway through the batch and the olive pitter snapped in two. So the damsons are all full of stones, which makes Scott really angry when I cook with the stones in them. Personally, I quite like the stones. It gives a really nice flavor. And it's just a case of like don't chew on it otherwise you could break your teeth but if you're when you're eating jam you're not really crunching down on it anyway so I feel it's not not something to get upset about but got to keep him happy it's gonna be stony jam I think that's the pot full now. We're gonna to have to put the rest back in the freezer and try again another day. I'll show you what we've still got left over. Still got all these guys. But the pot's full. So you'll have to go another day. Now you may be wondering what's my recipe for jam? Well, I don't really follow a recipe. It's just a lot of fruit, a lot of sugar. This is about the biggest bag of sugar you can buy from the supermarket, so I'm going to chuck the lot in and that should balance out the acidity in these slightly underripe apples. We got quite excited and harvested them a little bit too early. I'm just, because the fruit's still really quite frozen, I'm going to start it off in quite a low heat initially so that the It'll defrost somewhat in the pot. I'll check back in later on. The fruit is starting to defrost now. It's becoming a lot more mushy and a lot less frozen. Still a long way to go. that thermometer to get up above 100 degrees celsius so that the fruit's all caramelized and jammy. We are so close. Pretty good now. I'm just gonna mash up some of the apples. Let's see. The jam is looking quite jammy. 
I'm happy with that consistency. So we've got a pan of hot water on the go and some empty jars. So I'll sterilise the jars, jar it up and that'll be it preserved. I'm still making a mess. 11 jars of delicious fruity jam ready for the van life. It's very stormy. It's been stormy all week and it's going to continue to be stormy and it's May and we keep waiting and waiting for the storms to stop and they're not stopping and we need the van done. So we're again stuck in this van with all the doors closed, nowhere to work, trying to chop bits of ply. We've started to put a back on the cupboard. It's very complex thanks to our kind of mismatched jigsaw method of building so we're getting there I just reminded Scott there that he said he'd put a mirror in for me which he'd forgotten about so he's had to go get the mirror there he is we're gonna see if we can install this thing day 365 sitting in the van there's still nothing's been done but we're trying. So this morning we've been fitting a plug hole to this urine diverter that we're going to use for the composting toilet. So we fitted this kind of standard plug hole fitting as you would use for a very small sink and the idea is we can attach the outflow pipe to that in itself. Scott had to make a little modification to this so it comes with quite a long spout on it which is for fitting a funnel over. So he's cut that back and we've just taken the plug hole and attached it like you would to a normal sink with, with sealant around it. So that was job one. And job two was, again, very similar. We've put a plug hole in our sink. So that seemed like a really good idea today because it's been on and off just hail. So we didn't really want to be outside. So we thought we'll get these indoor jobs done today. And the next thing is we're going to varnish the countertops. Now that the countertops are all stained up, we're going to seal up all the wood with varnish. That's good, isn't it? I really didn't expect clear varnish to be white, but... has been working very hard the past few days to install an essential component of the van. So Jojo wanted a full length mirror in the van. Really important. And what Jojo says she wants, Jojo gets. <laughs> Let's show you. Now it will have a cupboard front. But in a nutshell, <laughs> I'm a vampire, I'm not in the mirror. No, I'm just standing to the side. Look at that. Now I can check that my outfits look good. And hopefully, when we're travelling in Europe, we won't be needing to wear three jumpers and a jacket in May, which would be nice. It'll be a real improvement. Love it. He's so proud. Engineering. 
<laughs> now what else can we have on sliders? Oh, we could come up with so many things to slide out. Um, let's have a slide out towel rail. Slide out towel rail? Slide out hanging space? Slide out barbecue. Slide out barbecue. You could get one of those on the back. Slide out shower. Slide out shower, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Slide out bathtub from underneath the van. What are you doing there, Scott? Easy does it. I'm just uh, just tapping this new stick into position. <laughs> Nothing dangerous about this at all. I mean, an easier thing would have been to cut it to the right length, but it is the right length. It's the perfect length. Watch out near that mirror. I don't think it fits. You think I should take a little sliver off of it? Just a <laughs> tiny little sliver. It doesn't fit, Scott. <laughs> no amount of hitting it with a hammer is going to change that. I don't know. Head it like this way. Go chop it. Mm. How much it's... did he take off that? Uh, I just sanded the ends. I was thinking it was really close to it. You know, if you keep wedging it in, we won't need any screws. <laughs> Maybe we should just build everything by wedging it in. Hit a bump and have it all fall apart. The house of cards. It's like a glove. Room to fit a squid. Why on earth would you want a squid? It's tasty. Stinky. We're not having squid in the van. We might do. <laughs> Get a fryer in here. Ah, that's another thing you could have a slide out fryer. Slide out fryer. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. I love it. It's a channel for the mirror. Mirror channel. What channel are you tuned into? Oh, mirror channel. <laughs> it's the best channel. Mirror it's TV. Me. Never disappointed. Lovely. Hello and welcome to Scottish van building where the weather's so crap that even in May we have to hide inside the van from the wind. Let's see what we've been up to. Now that Jojo's pull-out mirror is built, it's now on to putting in some drawers. A pull-out drawer? Pull-out drawers, just like everything else. So we've got the runners, runners. and we've got a drawer and now we're just going to attach the drawer to the runners. And that drawer is made from the finest quality. Reclaimed pallet wood. Recla <laughs> <laughs> it's such bad quality wood. But you know what? It's going to be hidden in that little cubby. Nobody's going to know. It'll do the trick. It'll do the trick nicely. We'll paint it a nice colour. No, we won't. We'll just paint it white probably like everything else. Because paint's expensive. So everything's going to be white. Yeah. And white's bright. The drawer's attached, it slides, it's ready for Jojo's socks. Now on to drawer number two for my socks. And drawer number two is done, ready for my socks. Whew. What next Jojo? <laughs> drawer number three. <laughs> I don't want to do a third drawer. <laughs> no number three, do you want to show them both together? Drawer number two, drawer number one. Mirror number zero. Uh -huh. So good. It's like a week's work. <laughs> this has actually been all day. Just thought I had that. Started at nine o'clock this in the morning. It's now. Yeah, we started this job at nine o'clock. It's now like 7 pm. Oh gosh, is it seven? It oh, is seven. Wow. That's why I was in cooking the dinner. The dinner's in the oven, so. That's yeah. us for today. <laughs> no, that, that, that'll do.